crowd still coming in and United pushing it all the way back to Billy Johnson Cover there by Aiken no pressure on him either here's John Clark careless looking pass McAnally's in trouble now it's done might let fly himself and it's drifting away well I think that's the right way to pick up a loose ball in midfield and if you feel you get the opening go ahead yourself as he did I think that took the outside of his foot though Try to lay it off. I need footwork by him, but he's a, a lanky, he's about six feet one. Very useful player. That was French going forward. Mutunit. Well picked up by McStay. Walker. Archdeacon. Stark once again on that right-hand side of the Celtic attack and that's a useful ball and coming forward as he did Peter Grant I think he had just advanced about half a foot too much and went underneath the ball there's Bannon with a shot and it's not far away and to Bannon Canelli. Bannon. And United get the corner. Meanwhile, Bowman is going off. And it's Curran who comes on. Just stuck Ferguson. And that's it. It's Clark, would you believe? All he had to do was to poke it through the legs. United have gone into the lead and are now what 11 minutes of the game remaining. Well, they all waited for the substitution to take place. Over it came. Seemed to be bad marking by the Celtic defence and John Clark, as he has so often done for United in the past, Scores a very vital goal. It's Clark, an almighty heave down downfield. Nobody strikes the ball harder than Clark. Bannon. Kinnaird. Away from Morris. Good run by Kinnaird. Ferguson's done it again. Two nothing. And exactly 43 minutes by our watch. That was a superb strike by Ferguson. The spin work done by Paul Kinnear, whose substitution has transformed United. He kept his head, and that was a very disciplined ball indeed, and quite excellent finishing. Shepard with the shot, and it's there! 2 on. Shepard gets it, there may have been a deflection. And there in fact, goes the final whistle, Celtic left it too late. A remarkable performance by Dundee United. That goal, of course, that second goal really killed Celtic off.